slow Wi-Fi. Oh no, unstable connection. Good lord, is your card MediaTek? What have you done? It's time for upgrades. I personally have no experience with MediaTek Wi-Fi cards, but some people have claimed issues. So what do you need? A motherboard with built-in Wi-Fi, new Wi-Fi card. I have bought the Intel AX210 Wi-Fi 6E capable card for like 30 euros, a screwdriver, and preferably an anti-static wrist strap. Before you start doing anything, take a picture of the motherboard from the back, from the front, so you have some reference to rely on in case you get lost during the reassembly. In order to get to the Wi-Fi adapter, we first need to remove the I.O. cover. On the back side of the motherboard, identify the corresponding screws. Be careful, there are also the ones that are holding the VRM heatsinks and the Wi-Fi adapter. So if you accidentally remove one of those, just make sure you put them back in. For my model, I need to remove these five. It wasn't obvious to me at first, because the two other screws that I had to take out were actually the spacers, so it took me some time to figure that out. Oh yeah, and I lied. You also might need a wrench or a nut socket to remove those. And voila, that is French for your parents are surely proud of you, even though they don't mention it, ever. Anyways, we have successfully located the Wi-Fi adapter. Now, remove the two screws holding it in place. Flip the board and we can finally take it out of the system. Again, before disassembling it, take a photo. Maybe I should have mentioned at the start of this video also the fact that the new Wi-Fi card has to be of a compatible format. Well, I ran out of B-roll, so I'm saying it here. Step one, remove the screw. Step two, use your nail to dislodge the plastic cover of the card. Step 3. Use your nails or a small flat screwdriver to release the antennae wires. Step 4. Use your finger to fasten the antennae onto the studs. Make sure they are all the way in. You don't have to follow this cleaning process, but it won't hurt. It's just to be sure that you don't leave behind any grease that could accumulate heat. Step 5. Place the plastic cover back in its place. Step 6. Put in the screw. Okay, this is where I made a mistake. The car was supposed to be touching the metallic thingy on the left that is sticking upwards. Now it doesn't, so as a result it moved the screw holes on the main frame, so I was unable to properly attach it back to the motherboard. So just make sure it is in the same position as the old Wi-Fi card. This is where the photo taken before disassembly is useful. Step 7. Plug the adapter back into its M2 slot. Step 8. Fasten the Wi-Fi adapter to the motherboard using the appropriate screws. If you have still troubles with the screws fitting in, use your finger to push the adapter frame so the holes align. One note here, take out the adapter first and check which side of the frame has this kind of wiggle room. For me, it's the side pointing inwards, that means I first fasten the screw closer to the edge, then I press the farther end of the frame towards me and the screw slips in. Another note, when fastening screws in PC components, don't use too much force. When you hit the first resistance, take the screwdriver handle between your index finger and your thumb and do one gentle rotating movement to tighten it. Except case fans probably, they need to be really fixed in place. But I'm no expert, so refute me in the comments. Step 10. Fit the IO shield in its proper position and afterwards place the IO cover on top. Don't do it like this dumbass on the video, trying to do both at once. First the shield, then the cover. Step 11. Put back all the screws. It's not as straightforward because in order to fasten spacer screws, you need to clear the IO shield from above the holes. I don't remember exact steps how to achieve this. You need to play around a bit with the cover and the shield to figure it out. At the same time, however, the cover needs to be properly in its place because the spacers are fixing the cover to the motherboard. So yeah, figure it out. 
Just be careful, you can't use force when fiddling with it because, well, you break something. Or you can use a wrench and skip all this, but I don't have one, so yeah. Coqua. That is Italian for I love you, my son. Always. <clears throat> After you assembly your computer and actually have a working PC, the newly installed Wi-Fi card should be working. If not, or you want to make sure you have the best drivers, the easiest way how to get them should be the Intel Driver and Support Assistant. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, click all the buttons you can and got internet speed.